I'm beyond excited today to be with you, my friends, and thank you for being with me as well. I'm at the Blazer Tech Center here in Switzerland, one of the places we don't get to bring cameras in very often. Yeah, this is the reason we started right here to let you know that this is something special for all of you. Adrian's waiting for me right inside. We're gonna go over some of the social media and the parts that they've made there, along with some of the R&D, in fact, the in-depth R&D that they go through on an everyday, regular basis. So I'm very excited. I invite you in, so come right this way. And yes, we are here in Switzerland. As I've already mentioned, we see people doing R&D here. Adrian's speaking with one of his colleagues. In fact, this is the social media area. Adrian, thank you so much for allowing thank us you. to have cameras. Nice to have you here. Oh thank my you. gosh, thank this you. is one of I actually literally have chill bumps right now. That's because cool. it's not every day we get to see and show the audience, the world, the inside of something of this magnitude and this significance. As a global leader in coolant, you guys go above and beyond to make sure your customers are taken care of. Absolutely. Thank you that, for you that, that you're being here. Perhaps I can show you some social media parts. Well, the audience and I both love seeing really sexy manufacturing parts, and that is what you have done right here. Um, this, it's a little heavy on my head, but to be fair, it started out as a really heavy block, didn't it? Absolutely. There are about 30 pounds of aluminum, which our uh, dedicated machinist uh, milled on the machine, so we are happy to, to have such uh, experienced guy here in the tech center and uh, yeah, for us always interesting pro projects to, to perform here in the tech center. Yeah. Adrian, the world of manufacturing, well let's just start with the world at first, understands how significant and important marketing is, but the world of manufacturing hasn't 100% caught on to that yet. You guys have, you have a dedicated work cell right here. I see QR codes that you can scan immediately. You have a young man that's been doing this a long time. And I even see partners throughout here that believe in the manufacturing uh, in manufacturing and marketing as well. What does marketing mean to Blazer? I think marketing means to Blazer that we can bring the coolant near to the customers. So, and it's so important to bring this knowledge to our next generation because they don't read a lot of papers. They have their phones. They want to see videos. That's the reason Blas put so much effort in this project. Well, you're doing an amazing job and I 100% agree with you. You know, quality speaks for itself. That's the foundation. Then we got to get that noise out there, right? And let people know what's going on. As I look around, I see some wonderful machines. I'm looking at this piece and I'd love for you to describe it in just a minute uh, because this was actually machined, my friends. And I'm going to show you guys a little closer to the camera as well. Uh, because this, believe it or not, was machined, and we're gonna talk about that. But when I'm looking in here, and I see this power grip behind me, I know that Regofix is one of your partners. Yep. What do you think precision means? What do you think, how, how important is precision to the overall manufacturing process, but also in the world of coolant? Whether we believe it or not, coolant and precision go hand in hand as well, don't they? Absolutely. It, it's the basic of all. Precision is precision, and you have to, to have the right chosen coolant that you can gain the right precision. So we are happy to, to have Recofix on our side to work with their, with their uh, clamping system, and uh, our machine loves the whole system. It's easy, it's, it's really stable, and it's the perfect product for us. Yeah, if we're running, you know, say out of alignment, or if we're getting reduced tool wear, and your coolant is perfect, but your precision is not, you're already having issues. And vice versa, if my precision and everything's lined up as it should be, thanks to Rego Fix and this power grip, on top of that, if my coolant's not good, I'm still burning through cut. It, it really is a symbiotic relationship that matters to the overall success of any project in manufacturing. That's absolutely perfect. You bring it really on the, on the right side. I have nothing to mention to this. No, nothing to add? Sometimes nothing I good. actually know my job. Can you believe that? All right, let's describe this a little bit before we slide into this whole row of projects and go into the in-depth process of what you guys do here at Blazer to showcase to the world we mean what we say. We go into this business taking care of our people. We don't just make a product and say, trust us. We're going to go into the details of that. But this is one of your fascinating social media pieces. How is this made? It's made on this machine, it's acryl glass, it's specialized and you have to mill this with a special tool. It has to be a natural diamond 
And uh, yeah, the guys, they love it to design. It's, it's designed here at the tech center. They love to mill. And uh, yeah, I think the result is speaks for, for his design. It, it, it absolutely does. Don't tell anyone I put that in my pocket. All right, we're gonna move over here a little bit, Adrian, because as we take this slow walk and we see all of these components, I've had the great pleasure to learn from you and your dedication to making sure, probably, probably even more than you need to, I would say, but you would disagree with me and say, no, we need to do all of it. But you go into such depths when it comes to testing your products for everyone out there. Would you mind describing the processes you go through? Absolutely, we have different processes here. If we test just our coolants to, to find the right spot from the coolant, then we do our own standard tests. But here, for example, we have an ex example for a, for a test with a customer where we mill this part here, it's for the aerospace industry. And it's important to know that we do not exactly mill the parts which our customers do on their machines because we do not have exactly the same machines. But together with the customers and with their engineers, we design such a part, a demo part, and then we can mill this on our machines because we have the capacities here in the tech center and our customers they have to produce the whole day. So come here to us and we do together a good project. I'm not going to say the company, uh, but I have utilized your coolant in a previous lifetime of mine to machine this very part in several places around the world, uh, but we won't say any name drops. That's All right, right, as we walk this general direction, I heard a story, and this story matters to me. And it was Billy Blazer way back in the day who made a cream for shoes that was actually waterproof because in this area, uh, 1936 was when this started, it was mostly farmland. Yep. And these people wanted waterproof to go along and he made this cream. But I wanna to speak to the audience about this. When he made this cream, he went to the people and said, let me do your shoes. And if it works for you, I'll be back tomorrow and you can pay me. And if not, you got a quality shoe clean out of this. To this day, this, mindset of proving that you're going to work is still part of the Blazer Foundation, isn't it? Absolutely. It's, it's really the basic. That's the reason we are here so data driven. Imagine on all these machines, there are so much sensors implemented that we can measure the different parts of the coolants in the process. So at, at the end, we put this together and we want to prove with data our customers that we are the right partners for them to improve their process, to improve their whole, uh, whole system. Adrian, I'm gonna, if, it, if it's okay with you, I'm gonna share a frustration. Oops. Because I get frustrated sometimes when I travel around and, and I support the, the best, right? Blazer is, is discussionably the best on the planet. And people go, but, but Tony, it's more expensive than what I'm using right now, or it's more expensive than B product out there, right? I look at it something like this and I see blue, orange, and green. And I won't go into details about what that is, but at the end of the day, what that means, the summary of what that means is price per part. I'm saving a ton of money by investing in the correct product to allow me to make more. And that could mean secondary operations and lack of, uh, not needing a secondary finish to go into it. Maybe it's tool life, maybe it's machine life, whatever component, maybe it's energy. Energy is so important these days. You guys test all of that. And my frustration is people who give up based on a price point at the beginning, instead of going into the data that you guys have done for years to make sure these people are taken care of. Absolutely right. If you, if you take this, this example here, you cut your, your tool cost in half. If you choose this coolant or this coolant. So that, that's absolutely possible. And regarding the, the energy consumption, perhaps you have here a little like Example. Yeah, what let's we, take a quick look at yeah. this. Invite everyone over. On these machines, there are 12 sensors. And for, for example, we measure also the energy consumption because we all know the pump system, the systems on the machine, they need a lot of power. But with the right coolant, we try to find out if we are able to, to reduce the power consumption on the machine. And so as a customer or our customers, that they can save money. And that's our goal here on this machine. One of the projects we do here in the tech center. Adrian, I know we could probably talk for the next three and a half Absolutely. days on all of the areas where people can save money, but I'll just stick to the energy consumption point and go, okay, second after second, minute after minute, hour after hour, day after day, year after year, the strain on the pump itself, 
by able by being able to reduce it by a few bars and get the same results or better results based on that energy consumption to me is common sense. Yep. And if you're testing that for me and I don't have to do that same thing for the next five years to find out if you're right, that's a win instantly. And that's what your R&D center is all about is creating wins for people without them having to do it for the next 10 years on Absolutely. their own. Absolutely. And that's that's the reason we are here and we love it to work with you. So for, for me as, as, a, as a machinist, as a technical guy, it's so wonderful to be here to find out such solutions for our customers. That's important. The customers in the center. And that's why we are here. Why Blaser invests so much money, so much effort in this whole uh, tech center. Well, Adrian, I know we started with a big sign out there that said no cameras. Yeah. And when I asked you if you could film, you said very quickly before my boss finds that's out, right? right? We, we didn't actually get permission today. We're doing this without permission, my that's friends. Okay. That's how important you guys are out there to learn more about Blaser. Adrian, thank you so thank much you for your so time. Much. Truly appreciate thank you, you. Thank you all for watching. This is how you get to learn more. Make your shops better and learn about companies is by bringing these cameras in. That's why you have the social media over there. So thank you all for joining us. Time is the one thing we cannot manufacture more of. So if you shared it with us today, we truly appreciate you.